You're probably wondering why I called you out here today. It's because one of you is a murderer. Dun dun dun. What? <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's my five o'clock. Anyway, I can't get my glasses back on. All right, hey everyone, this is new. <laughs> this is gonna be loud, but spooky. Uh, hey, so this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long freaking time. In fact, this is the third time I've tried to do it, uh, but the previous two times we did it at the YouTube studios and they just weren't okay with the stuff we did during it, so we weren't allowed to upload. Uh, so we're doing it now here in my luxurious Brick, natural brick wall apartment. Dungeon? Yes. <laughs> That's what it was. I'm gonna talk to this camera now. Hey everyone, I've got multi-camera set up. How cool is this crap? <laughs> Anywho, going back to this one. Uh, I'm making it real hard to be later in the editing room. Hey, you gotta go over to that one too. Now I'm going to this one. <laughs> in all fairness, this is about as professional as every single thing else I do on this channel, so fuck it. Uh, so yes, this is, I've been wanting to do a game night kind of thing on this channel for a long time and luckily I was able to find uh, two people who were willing to help out with this. Uh, it was supposed to be a third one. Uh, anywho, so what we are going to be doing today in honor of the 31 days of Thorgy Ween where every single day we're doing something spooky on this channel, we are going to play the horror deck of Super Fight. Now, in case you are wondering how on earth you play Super Fight, we are going to explain the rules. The game of Super Fight is played by characters picking three character cards and three ability cards. They then will select one character card and pair it up with one ability card to create their fighter. Then they will have to argue against the other player why their fighter would win in a fight. But there are two curveballs thrown in here. The dealer will select a random location card and a random setting card that can completely change the layout of this fight. After the two contenders have argued over which of their fighters would win this fight, then the other players will vote on who they think will win. If the votes come down to a tie, then both players will select one random character card with no abilities, locations, or settings and have to argue just on which of those two characters would win. Then the votes are held again. Whoever wins the match then has to continue on with that chosen character and that chosen ability card in order to argue against the next player about whether or not their character would win that fight. After one player has won three matches in a row, that combination of character and ability are permanently retired. Who wins the match at the end of the day is decided completely by the players themselves, as in a typical game of Super Fight, there are no points given and there is no total score that you have to reach. It's a game that's meant purely for fun arguments, not for actually keeping score, and that's how we're going to end up playing it today. Everybody understand? Great. Now sit back and enjoy. Hey everyone, welcome back. So, we are now going to begin, as that little demonstration just taught all of you, we are going to start by each of us picking three character cards. Or, well, me and Fabian. I should go around the room and introduce everyone yes. first. You all know me, I'm Dustin, this is Mike, this is Max, and that's Levin. So, we're all good. <laughs> I want to be Lucas, but I know I'm not. Uh, no. <laughs> Lucas is so good in the second season. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, but anyway, this is Fabian. Uh, by the way, I was going to say this for the end, but to make sure I don't forget, do you want to plug your stuff so uh, that people can check you out? Yeah, we can do that at the end. We'll do it at the end. All right, cool. We can do that at the end. This is Fabian, this is Anna, and this is Michelle, as yes. you all know. Okay, cool. So, pick our three characters. Now pick our three abilities. And now we choose our fighter. Okay, I got mine. And now we separate the remaining ones into two piles there because we will end up going through these again. Are you sure this isn't in the way? Can we, we can like put it up here if it's you want. It's totally fine. Okay. Now it's in the way. <laughs> Ooh. Damn it. Okay. Uh... I know that feeling. <laughs> I cannot wait for that comment. I wish you would turn that stupid thing off. It's making too much noise. Could you hear on the mic? A little bit, but I mean, I'm a wild motherfucker, so it doesn't matter. All right, so I've got mine, you've got yours. Now for the X Factor, the situation and the location. The location, Transylvanian Castle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I swear to you, we played this at the YouTube series, and this was the reason they wouldn't let me upload the card that screwed me over last time. All fighters are horny teenagers. <laughs> I love if Fabian's looking like, I can use that to my advantage. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Alright, time to reveal. My fighter, 
Van Helsing. Oh, uh, thank God I didn't pick that one. <laughs> is the child of Satan. Oh. Character block. Well, yeah. mm. I had a warlock armed with holy water. Mm. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! Okay. This one's gonna be tough. Um, I mean, I'm a warlock with holy water against the child of Satan. <laughs> I, I, I'll admit, I'm at a disadvantage. But... I'm trying to think how I can use a horny teenager to my advantage. Never thought I'd say that again. All right. Oh, God. Because <laughs> it was in the last game we played. Anywho. Um, okay. Transylvanian Castle. Van Helsing fought Dracula. So he's got home field advantage. He already knows this layout, okay? Child of Satan. This means that he already trained to fight demonic creatures, but he also now knows the ways of demonic creatures. So he's got both light and dark magic on his side. You're pulling a Hellboy. Huh? You're pulling a Hellboy. I'm pulling a Hellboy. Goddamn it! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's a warlock, man. It's a warlock. His magic properties. <laughs> Plus, he's armed with holy water. I lost this the last time because the exact same argument. Um, <laughs> He can make it rain, like... <laughs> oh, god damn it, holy water rain. Yep. Fuck! Inside the castle. Inside the castle. <laughs> and it's just gonna make... It's just gonna make Van Helsing a little bit... You know, like, it's it's a wet... Moist. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a wet warlock. Van Helsing is like the Batman of monster fighting. He's got that big tunic on, that giant hat. The rain won't affect him, because he's basically wearing a giant monster slaying poncho at all times. Yeah, but he'll he's gonna be distracted by like a warlock's like chest hair and shit. Cause he's sexy. Cause yeah. he's a horny teenager. Exactly. Mm. This is a really complex van. But what if it's dream. the reverse? You don't get to argue in this. <laughs> I appreciate I appreciate you trying to help me. Also, this I mean, is totally in my way on this game. I mean, that, I mean that's the only reason why the like the horny warlock like the horny teenage warlock God wants to me. defeat Van Helsing. It's because Van Helsing is a beautiful man. Yeah, but that's the problem. Van Helsing is a beautiful man, and the warlock is also a horny teenager. Yep. So... Everyone's a horny teenager. Yeah, but Van Helsing is the better looking one. I, He's Hugh Jackman, for God's sakes. I don't know, He's man. turning into it's a, a yaoi warlock. stick, I swear. <laughs> I don't know, man, like... Seriously, like I feel like I feel like we both lost this because they're just gonna bone yeah. at the end of it. <laughs> I would argue we both won this. Okay, <laughs> true, true. <laughs> All right, it's make time love, to, yeah. not war. <laughs> time to go on to the votes. Uh, and you're not allowed to say they both just fucking it's all okay. Uh, <laughs> also, I really do love this camera angle on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Um. I I I think that <laughs> I'm sorry to say that I think that the the holy water kind of kind of clinches it. it yeah, I know. Yeah. It's, man, that is so just your trap card, just perfectly yeah. set up there. Yeah, I mean the, the child of Satan, holy water. I was like, man, I got the I got the monster hunter, and he's like blade. I got them both. He's the best of both worlds. Oh, God damn it, no. You know what? I know the arguments are close, but he he could just say like, hey, loop. Loop. <laughs> loop. Just trick him into thinking it's loop. It's, it's a trap. It's horrible. That's mean. I'm not even going to be able to monetize this video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. All right. So one vote for Warlock. You, listen, I would love to have this end with a beautiful relationship, but... That's not how this game works. One of them has That's super <laughs> fun. The spin-off game. <laughs> also, name of my band, calling it. Yeah. In this game, only one can win, and I'm sorry to say that I think the warlock has the upper hand because of that holy, holy water. water. Goddamn. Alright. So now you get to go on to her. My guys are retired over here in the big retirement pile. Yeah. So now you get to pick. Three abilities and three characters. Oh no, you have to continue yours. Oh, I have to. Yeah, because you oh, won. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Your champion now has to keep going until they lose. Right. Oh god. And the and the settings and. Settings will change though. Okay. But I will. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Settings. <laughs> 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 um. She has an amazing poker face. <laughs> We're at holy water. Okay. I remember when I used to play poker as a kid, like someone had to one stop me and just go, 
you have the worst poker face in the world. <laughs> you will always lose this game. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, cool. I got it. I think. We'll see. Are we still in are we different locations? Different still? location. Cool. Yeah, show me your kitten fighter. All right. So my fighter is Edgar Allan Poe, but he's actually a ghost and can only be killed when his physical remains are destroyed. Okay. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> location. <laughs> Arkham. Not like Asylum, but like H.P. Lovecraft. And all fires are oblivious to danger. So in other words, you're in the home of like Cthulhu, but nobody knows that the danger is around them at all times. That's not really the best one of these. Arkham's pretty good, but. All right. Cool. I'm the ghost of Big Ron Poe. <laughs> I know, I know all of, the, I know all of the dark magic secrets. You can't pull anything on me, man. Am I oblivious to danger? <laughs> what? That's that's really hard. It's really hard to defend against. Um, <laughs> um, it's, but, see, I, I limit I myself to warlock. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't know how I'm supposed to kill you though. Like, do, well, you don't have to kill, you just have to defeat. Oh, just defeat. Oh, okay. Um, By, okay. Although the way to kill a ghost is, the way to defeat a ghost is kind of kill it. Or trap it with a proton pack, but... Salt. 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 Yeah. Salt. Mm -hmm. It's always salt and iron. Mm-hmm. Well, I can conjure iron. You can conjure iron? It's a warlock. You're a warlock. It says, like, it can only be killed when the physical remains are destroyed, so yeah. maybe kill. you can... Kill. Kill, but I don't need to kill him. A warlock could trap. Could trap. But at the same but time, I'll sing really horrible. I'll just like make uh, really terrible raven noises at you, and you'll never be able to sleep. You'll just be like never more, never more forever, because I'm a ghost and I don't have to sleep. So you'll never sleep, and it'll just be bad. Warlocks do have for to concentrate for a long That's true. time. Yeah. And there would just be like telltale heart noises, just like around you, like in the floor. Just like whenever you're walking, it's be really uncomfortable. <laughs> hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna pin. I, I I don't really I really don't know how I'm gonna like defeat that. To be completely honest. You can't go up, man. Hold on, let's see. All right, it's a warlock. You call it a second. <laughs> it's a warlock. It's a warlock against a ghost. Is it a jackal? Oh, it's like a jackal. Is it a jackal? Hmm. And we're in Arkham. Edgar Allan Poe's from where? Boston. Boston? <laughs> Actually, it's not that far. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. <laughs> all I need to do... There's something about the Northeast that just fucked up all writers. Yeah. <laughs> all I need to do probably is just conjure something, like a ghoul or something, to burn, find and burn your remains. You could, mm. you warlocks can get servants, that's true. Yeah. Mm, you're gonna like summon, summon something? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like you're oblivious to the danger around you. It's like maybe you could just like have one of the so monsters. Yeah, it just look like another monster. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, son of a bitch. I love that you're both kind of helping each other. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I have loop. That carries over from the last game, too, yeah. Yeah, yeah loop is consistency. Uh, okay. I'm gonna hey, if you trap me, I could just, like, put it all over me and just, like... Oh, I'm going to tell you what my dad told me at my graduation. You can't fuck your way to victory every time. So. True, you can't really... All right. You can't really fuck a ghost. Or uh, can't. That sounds like an amazing title of an autobiography. <laughs> um, you can't fuck a ghost. The Edgar Allan Poe story. Well, fine, freaking warlock, right. stupid. It's, we're the ones who vote. You don't get to give up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do not You're not me. giving up until we tell you to give up. I love it. Five seconds ago, he was falling. I don't know how I can beat that. And then you just immediately came. I mean, uh, nah. <laughs> nah, nah, dog. Nah, nah, nah. Never, never, More. never, never give up. Never surrender, never, never more. Surrender. All right, uh, I'm going for the warlock. Yeah, same. 
Yeah. Even if I agreed to Edgar Allan Poe, I'd be in the minority, so. Yep. No, it'd be one and one. They don't vote. Oh, it is? Yes. Well, I... If you agree, yeah, it's one-on-one, one, then they go to team, tiebreaker. Team Edgar Allan Poe Ghost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> team we'll, Poe Ghost. We'll, we'll, uh... Oh, uh, I'm a Come ghost. Make up can, I, can I fuck with your, with your summoning thing? Can I be like, nah, man. Can you possess him? Listen, listen to bad poetry. Oh, yeah. Can I possess your demon you think? Can I possess you? Didn't even think about that. What if all that you hear forever is Edgar Allan Poe stories just in your brain? Forever. Mm. I mean, that's not bad. He's a good writer. Like, there, there are worse things. So. I mean, could possibly happen. Yeah. If that's what you're gonna do, then, you know, could possibly happen. Yeah. I'm still sticking with Warlock on that. Yeah. What about yeah. You? I mean, I feel like the only way for Pogo to win <laughs> is. <laughs> Pogo. <laughs> It's if you possess the wizard's body, but then the yeah. wizard would have to kill himself in order to kill you, so yeah. yeah. And I didn't think of that before we before Yeah, we and plus you're, you're arguments. And plus you're in Arkham and you're surrounded by all these monsters that you're completely oblivious to, so realistically you'd both be screwed, but in this case I Who think Who gets taken out first? Is yeah, the so yeah, I'm th I think the wizard might have the advantage. All right. <laughs> Two right. wins. Yeah. Right. yeah. Alright. Can anyone defeat the wizard? You're our last chance. Oh boy. Fun, fun, fun. Also, so I just got. If, he goes, if Fabian goes through everybody, then, then, he then he's the then wizard. Then he gets, uh, yeah, after he gets three wins, uh, the card is retired. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, then he's basically just won. Gotcha. Because yeah. he's defeated all of us. Put on a Wheaties box. Are we all just wearing black shirts? Oh. My shirt is gray, thank you. Yeah, well, mine's too. Well, my shirt right. is also black with PVA inside. Oh, PVA. <laughs> Did you grab four cards? No, I, oh shoot, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, do we, do I have it's to shuffle fine, the deck? It's fine, it's fine, don't worry. I did not mean to do squish that. Squish it in there. Squish, squish, squish. Watch, you put away the best one. <laughs> you put one back at random, so it's totally fine. Okay, there's that. I feel like it should turn this on when we make our judgment. The tribe has spoken. <laughs> also, get that face cam again. I'm completely <laughs> like when I lean back, I'm like, completely gone. You actually so look like you're on fire. It does. It's pretty <laughs> cool. I am the great and powerful Wizard of Oz. Ignore me. Role, actually, so yep. it's Warlock. Thank you. Hmm. Is that the Warlock's secret? He basically is just a bit trickster. He just came to a land of magic, but he knew what pocket watch was, so now he's the king. Yeah. You and your Zach Braff monkey. <laughs> that was a movie, everyone. <laughs> I actually didn't see it. I shouldn't pass judgment on that without seeing it. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with these two. I don't know if they will work. Alright. Who is your fighter and who is their ability? Uh, my fire is Kayako, the girl from The Grudge. Okay. And she has The Shining. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> okay, I would love it if this location, by the way, is Grudge House. So, okay, All right. location is Silent Hill. Close enough. <laughs> and... Ground is slick with blood and gore. Service just creep the fuck out. Well, also, you can't, it's slick, you, like, are slipping. Uh, yeah. It's now a horror comedy, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, shit, okay. I want you to lose so bad, because that movie was so terrible. Uh, oh. not The Grudge. We watched Sayako versus Kayako, The Grudge versus Ring movie. It's fucking awful. <laughs> it's terrible. Okay. So what's... Who's, who's go, who goes first? Uh, Defending Champ. Go. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think I'm sorry each time, so... All right, so what what the warlock would do, probably. Um, shit, I haven't watched the Grudge in so Paris. fucking long. <laughs> so, <laughs> you are in Silent Hill, and we're in Silent Hill. Um, you know what? Warlocks are very charismatic. <laughs> And We're not doing their all the horny teenagers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very charismatic, and they, uh, I know that they can control hordes of, like, mindless monsters. 
Because their charisma is so high. Yeah. <laughs> so I would Plus think... Three charisma. <laughs> I would think that I would be able to control at least some of the monsters from, from Silent Hill as an army. Silent Hill basically was being run by, like, weird cultists. So yeah. yeah. There is that. So... I mean, I guess at this point, the holy water just just quenches my thirst at this point. <laughs> um, he never gets dehydrated. He's unstoppable. Yeah. Uh, it's just constantly refilling. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about the slick and blood and gore um, on the ground, but I would assume since I'm controlling like a partial army that they're going to do my bidding. That's my defense. All right, okay. on you. Well, Kaiko, she walks weird, so I don't think the uh, blood will uh, be that much of an issue. She so, walks on all four, so yeah. Yeah, well, so uh, also the Shining, she might be able to, you know, get into the heads of those monsters you're, tra you're summoning and just mess around with them. She could summon uh, Groundskeeper Willie to come. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Is he going to be in the form of, like, a giant tractor? <laughs> <laughs> you just use that everybody. shin of yours and I'll come running. <laughs> but don't be on mine between four and five. That's Willie's time. Yeah. I can just quote that entire episode right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. She can also read the wizard's mind so she can know what kind of spells you're conjuring up. All right. So she isn't affected by the blood. And she can re know the spells he's conjuring. Does he have anything that could fight the grudge? A baseball bat, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Conjure a baseball bat? I, I, I can't I mean, How did they deal with the grudge? I can't remember. It's a Japanese horror film. They didn't deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> they no just one let it happen. <laughs> no one survives a Japanese horror film. Yeah, that is true. Sure that's true. Is. Nobody really survives. <laughs> um... I don't know, fireballs, man. Fireballs. Fireballs. <laughs> fireballs. Mm. I don't know. I <laughs> This is what happened. I really should have gotten like just a regular nerd deck for us. Like the guy who was supposed to be here was a big horror junkie, and that's why we're like, yeah, we're gonna do this for Halloween. Yeah. And so now I've just got No, it's so good. You we're just got the good. casuals. <laughs> just gotta fill the casuals. Ugh. Get good, Scrubs. <laughs> I mean, uh, is that it? Alright, cool. I guess it's vote time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going with uh, Grudge Girl. Oh, wait. Judgment time. Woo! Uh, I, don't, I don't know, man. I think like, that the, the summon, summon demon army could hold her off. Summon demon it's, army. It's like, it's, like, it's like demons versus demons. In Silent Hill, which is like Demon Land. <laughs> she's and got the, she's got the one little cat boy, but you do have more than that. I have Pyramid Head. You do. Yeah, you, you got like every. <laughs> got you, got head all the you got all the Silent Hill characters, like yeah. yeah. Also, I, just speaking again on behalf of everybody out there who watched the Grudge vs. Ring movie, Kaiko gets taken out like a P early on. Yep. The movie's yeah. terrible. And I, I remember like was it the first Grudge movie. There was an English where like the girl played Daphne was like the main character. Yeah, Sarah Michelle Gellar. And that was so I think it's I think the reason why they made that was like, oh, Jason versus Freddy was uh, kind of a success. Let's, oh you mean oh the fight oh that one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like let's, yeah. let's do that. It's like fight, fight off movies but without any sort of actual stakes yeah. or plot or anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's sad when Freddy versus Jason is the better monsters fighting each other thing. <laughs> uh so oh shoot, because that was on your side. High. Cause I was on your side, but yeah, now I'm kind of like, yeah. if he's got pyramid head and all you guys are little cat boy. Little cat boy. Little cat boy. All right, I'm gonna change my vote. <laughs> well, you know, cats were worshiped as gods in ancient Egypt, so <laughs> you got the ancient pyramids. Oh, pyramid, oh, pyramid <laughs> head, okay. Yeah. I was like, where the hell is that coming? Oh, pyramid head. That is head. a big stretch. Pyramid head has a, has a weakness to cats. <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> Oh, oh <laughs> cutie. The kitty. kitty. <laughs> yeah, I think we all have like weaknesses to cats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these cats. They're the best. Uh, shoot, yeah, okay, I'm switching it to right. Warlock then. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, right. I'm, I'm giving it all I got, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm giving her all she's got, Kevin. <laughs> sorry, I'm Warlock. 
Yeah, yeah. Travis Hogan. Yeah. Warlock swept it. Woo-hoo. Yeah. yeah. Right. Give it up, Megan. All right. All right. On to All the right. next round. All right. And we're back. Round two. Fabian won the last one, swept it. Uh, we are not going to do this that again. We're going to do it differently this time, in which now... So basically, is it still going to be the champion keeps moving along? Is that how you guys want to do it? Or do you want to just go like, one fight, one fight, one fight, one fight, one, like that? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. we're no longer doing the champion continues, because in order to get more variety here, we're just going to keep going around. So, okay, so we're going to now start going that way. So, so that way, yeah, we can see you two go at each other, then us, then back to us. Gotcha. All right. So, so, so you two are beginning. I'm just knowing the weird angle some of my cameras are at. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. We have such a lumpy carpet and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm intrigued what you got now. <laughs> oh, that's just... Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, yeah, we're going for that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your face games are on point today, by the way. I really want to see what this is at this point. <laughs> so... It's fine. Dizzy. It's, it's fine. Dizzy. It's just kind of gross. <laughs> I don't have to worry about stairs and practices mm. here. We're fine. Yeah. All right. Okay, I think I got that in. Hmm. Yeah. Bam. All right, Michelle. Okay, I got Carrie, and okay. she gains strength by drinking blood. Oh! <laughs> Does it matter what where it's from? I it doesn't say. Doesn't say. So. Yeah. Pig's blood counts. <laughs> Fuck. That's a pretty good team up. All right. Yeah. All right. What's yours? I have a tribe of cannibals that can summon and command the undead. Hmm. Oh. So my thought is that they can just like eat their way through. To victory. <laughs> All right. Your location. Locked in a killer's basement. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I don't know if you're saying that for like your pair up or if you're just saying that because like, oh, I don't want to be there. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound fun for anyone. Maybe the killer. Um, <laughs> and the situation is, fighters are being harassed by a group of meddling kids. <laughs> okay. oh, perfect. That's actually perfect I have to you. Exactly. I had to make a middle note of myself to cut to Michelle's reaction when she saw that. <laughs> just a, Okay. Defenses, guys. Um, can it be my base? Can it be like my my tribe's basement? No. Or just because okay. they're not killers, they're cannibals. Different thing. It's the meddling kids' basement. <laughs> yeah. Is it is it one of the meddling kids' basement? That's the thing. Okay, so there's because that, that's the question. Oh, okay. If you're locked in the basement, how are you being harassed by the meddling kids? Mm. Are they calling you, or is it their basement? <laughs> the phone, Wouldn't it be funny if hey like guys. it's one of their basement, but they all don't know that that one is, is the killer? killer? We're writing a oh, way. Shit. This is a way better <laughs> yeah. adult Scooby Doo than Scooby. Uh, what is that? Scooby Apocalypse guy. I still Gross. don't look good. Okay. Okay. Oh god. It's, um, uh, okay. So we're a tribe of cannibals. How big is the tribe? Is it like I'd say at least five, five people? Five animals. <laughs> All right, and we can summon and command the undead. So if this is a killer's basement. They probably have people buried in their basement. So I'm gonna say that I can summon and command. That's true. All of the dead people that this guy's got like locked up, or girls got locked up in their basement, and then we just take up so much space in the basement that you can't get to us, and we just proceed to kill and eat you. Just war of attrition, just more people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, but Kerry can use her like sense. psychic powers to mm. like be to like toss a, all the dead people away. And since you're a tribe of cannibals, maybe you'll try and bite her or try and eat yourselves. But then again, you know, psychic abilities will kick you out and just start drinking her own blood or something. Oh, if she gets bit, then she gets to drink her own blood. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's true. It doesn't say what where the blood comes from. Yeah. That's gross. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've never actually seen Carrie. What does her do? Psychic powers. Psychic yes. powers. Like like forceful psychic powers? Yeah. Yes. Okay. She's Jean Grey, basically. Oh. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, with less of a convoluted uh, how big is the, how big with, is a, with a real big mommy issue. Yeah. <laughs> how, how big is the basement? 
Mm. Like how packed now is this basement with all of the dead people? Well, I would assume if it's a killer's basement, it would be bare. Yeah. There would just be a cabinet of like maybe killing tools Toy and tools. then shackles. Like, yeah, okay. that would that's what I would assume. So like there would be no dead bodies there. Probably like outside of it, like. But how would the dead bodies come in if like the walls like concrete or stone? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Harmonize. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Interesting. Okay. So the bodies are buried outside, and now they're just trying to get in, and they're like... Hmm. Remember, so, there are meddling kids outside. That's there true. There are also meddling kids. Are the meddling kids outside or in the basement? Are the meddling kids Well, you're being harassed by them. Where would they have yeah, to be? You're being orphan? harassed by undead meddling kids. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? No, they're like harassing us like through like hidden cameras and stuff. All right. Yeah, and if I try and eat you, then you're gonna gain power from. You're just gonna get mean tweets by these. <laughs> this is gross. <laughs> <laughs> just calling you out on your. Yeah, they're just calling you out. It's like, oh. hey, Carrie, <laughs> nobody likes you. <laughs> Carrie just keeps checking her phone. Fake and gay it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, and the cannibals just don't have phones because. If you're a cannibal, you probably don't have. I don't, that's true. Cannibals that's have true. Phones. Yeah. I don't think, well, I don't know. Probably very cannibal isolated. Did. That's oh, true. it's true. We're just like, we're being prejudiced, and we're just naturally true. assuming. Are that we like creepy redneck living in forest cannibals, or like Hannibal Lecter? Like how? But he wouldn't be trapped in the basement. Well, so it's not Hannibal that's Lecter. that's your call because that's your. That's your card. You can define what kind of cannibal this is. Yeah. A tribe of Hannibal Lecters who all got trapped in the basement are having a really bad day. <laughs> Uh, a group of animals is called a pack, not a tribe. <laughs> a group of uh, animals that just lost some money on the stock market and they're pretty pissed. They're just really bad. Found time. out their show just got canceled. Yeah. Oh. Never know what happened to Will. It's going to be real sad. It's All right. real sad. The internet's in tears. That's what the Metal Link Kids are! Oh my god! Oh! Hey, no! oh! oh! The Metal Link Kids are pissed. It's the fans! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think all of this just amounts to. Uh, not having a good time on the cannibal front, mm -hmm. and if you're like getting power from drinking blood, hmm, what happens if you drink undead blood? Do you become that, undead? That's the question I was that. wondering too. Interesting. Could she, could she drink the blood from the zombies? There's something. Like it says, it gains strength by drinking blood. It doesn't specifically say what kind like of strength, blood or death. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. it doesn't say what. It doesn't say what kind of strength or what kind of blood. I mean, if these are like oh, voodoo oh, zombies, they oh, typically don't have blood. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh, true. oh also, um, but if these are like. The undead and have like some of them, and then you're like drinking their blood, and then you become undead. Then I control you because I com summon and command undead. Oh, and then snap. you're just like under my power, and then I use you to break out of the basement, and then we can take care of the meddling kids. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go into final argument time. Okay, Michelle. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna lose. I feel like I'm outnumbered. Oh come on! Don't just give up. Final I know, arguments. but it's like. Look, I wanna like I, I, I want her to win and everything, but like the fact that there's a tribe of cannibals like ripping you apart, I don't think you'll have I don't know if you'll have enough time to drink all that blood. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out on this one. End of carry, she takes out an entire prom full yeah. of people. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. She stops a car at the end of that movie. Yeah, it's like but like how strong are the undead and my role has always been they're pretty flimsy. Yeah. All right, so you think Carrie would actually win? Like, well, she makes a really good argument though with yeah. the whole like how she gets out of the basement. <laughs> Maybe that should be the game. Who can get out of the basement first? <laughs> then again, you have psychic powers. You can unlock it. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. So then she drinks the undead blood, and then I use her psychic powers to get out of the basement, and then we're all just free, and we don't eat you because you seem nice. And you <laughs> all blood, so then we're just friends. And then you just eat the harassing. But meddling wait. Kids. And then we just eat the meddling kids because they were mean on YouTube. Wait. What if don't be mean on YouTube? <laughs> Friendship. Friendship. What if the undead doesn't have blood? Like, they're just all so shriveled up that there's no more blood in them. That's, yeah, that was my question. Because if these are like voodoo zombies that we're talking about, mm -hmm. yeah. then they would be, then they're dried of blood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if it was like Hannibal, then he would probably drain their blood and use it to make like a nice sauce. <laughs> a nice soiree. Yeah. Yes. A nice yes. So maybe Carrie would win. Thanks. <laughs> hmm. But how would she win? Would she win by just psychic like powers? Overlays, psychic powers? <laughs> yeah. She's gonna sneeze and break all the necks yeah. of the of the tribe of cannibals. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, like she'll use her psychic powers to like kill, like kill off the cannibals and like then drink their blood and then go out and beat the shit out of the uh, meddling kids and <laughs> and the so undead how, army that's trying to go after. Her. I mean YouTube comments. <laughs> All the right. cannibal well, yells at Cloud. I, right. uh, yeah. I, 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 I All right, I think that's art. I think that's it. Uh, okay. I'm gonna vote for. That's really good. Hold it. Hold it. All right, vote time. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna vote for. Deadly kids. The melee kids. Plot twist. All the melee kids come in with a chair. <laughs> All right. Um. I, I think you made a better argument with the tribe of cannibals. I'm gonna go with tribe of cannibals. Yes. Go with Carrie, actually. Okay. okay. So tiebreaker time. Yes. Both of you now just pull a character card. Don't get to see who it is. Oh snap! And there's no locations, no anything. Oh snap! Your character is Virgin. <laughs> Buffalo Bill. Got it. All right. You I'm do. sorry. You do. Buffalo Bill. You do. Oh, <laughs> Buffalo Bill kind of specializes in killing. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Yeah. That one Bad. just. That just didn't work out to you. Bad luck of the draw. It was his basement. Oh, it was! <laughs> Full circle! <laughs> Alright. Alright. Okay, now it's our yeah. turn. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're pumped! I, I have theme music. It's fine. I'll turn this off now. <laughs> what? He's already. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I'm pumped! What the fuck? <laughs> And then the laughter. Like, <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. I forgot to be, we, we're supposed to be pulling a second card every single time that we do this, but oh well. Okay, what? I forgot we're also supposed to be something pulling out a An second card. An extra ability thing? Yeah, but oh. screw it. We haven't done a single match in this, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Consistency. Alright, I'm going with. Cool. You want to go first? You're very excited. <laughs> Do it. I'm so glad you don't have a poker face because this makes great YouTube content stuff. <laughs> okay, so it's Nosferatu, and he's wearing a creepy Halloween mask. I'm going with. <laughs> in honor of season two of Stranger Things, Demogorgon. Oh snap! Stalks and kills opponents in their dreams, and location Ooh. is. A wax museum. Ew. And fighters are surrounded by a horde of draw a random character card. Surrounded oh. by a horde of paranormal investigators. Oh, Scooby Doo Gang is back at it again. <laughs> all right, all right. No, all now right. it's the douchebags on like the Learning Channel. Oh. Like, <laughs> Dude, bro, totally a ghost in this room. Fight me, bro. Listen, listen to that recording, and you can hear it. He says, "Mother." So you told it, "Mom." You're watching the Learning Channel. Remember when we were about space and shit? All right. All right. Remember we actually learned about right. the Learning Channel? So this is this is actually perfect. So Nosferatu, he's he's really old. He can hold still for a really long time. So he just pretends to be in the wax museum, but he's got a mask, so you can't tell who he is, right? So he's just in the wax museum, and the paranormal investigators can't do shit, but they can obviously see the Demogorgon because he's giant and faceless and can't think and he's mindless and he's doomed. <coughs> That's a really good argument because I'm not trying. Not he doesn't sleep. Yeah, he does. He sleeps for twelve hours a day, and he's but does, I don't think he dreams. No, or yes. That's I don't think undead dream. dream. Yeah, he's a vampire. What do undead people dream of? <laughs> undead sheep. Uh, You're welcome, one person who got that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I got that too. Yeah, okay. yeah but... it just wasn't funny. Uh, <laughs> You're uh, welcome, one person who thought that was funny. funny. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so the Demogorgon, here's the thing, his only real weakness is psychic girls because we see him getting shot at at points in the second season and he doesn't even get phased. Spoilers! Eh. Well, it happens in the first season. Happens yeah. in the first season, too. Is it true? Alright, alright, alright. Right. You watched this way before I did, way more recently than I did. I watched it last year when it came out. You watched it literally yesterday. So to you, season two is episode nine. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. So Demogorgon, we know that he can take a beating. His only real weakness is psychic powers. So the question is, Nosferatu, he's got that little like, you know, mesmerizing ability. Mesmerizing. 
But that isn't, does, can you like but entice a demogorgon? Does it work when you don't have eyes? Yeah, I was yeah, wondering that. That's true. I mean, what does he stare into? Because vampires may like stare into the eye and they do that like creepy eye you thing. Stare into his giant mouth. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, matter. Nosferatu, I'll give you the Wax Museum is helping him. Yeah. yeah. Especially if he has to take out the paranormal investigators. Yeah. But we've seen Demogorgons tear through soldiers. Paranormal investigators. But how do you find me? You don't have eyes. And I just like, I just stand there. I don't smell like anything. Like, uh, okay, dead. so here's the thing. The Demogorgon is obviously right. going to take out the paranormal investigators. So That's how true. long before he finds out about Nosferatu? Yeah. Paranormal investigators would be taken out pretty quick. That's yeah. true. <laughs> I think I think Demogorgon. They're a distraction. Um, they work on sound and smell. That's um, the thing. Yeah. How do we know they yeah. can smell? Because of like we see them eating stuff in season. Mister Roger must smell real bad. He's no, not. He doesn't <laughs> smell like anything because he's like he's so old that he just smells like dust. And why smells like jerky. Also smell like dust. Yeah. That's or true. He, he, like would wax. Yeah. he would smell like the wax museum. I'll give yeah. you that. Yeah. <laughs> and he like doesn't move. And vampires don't. He doesn't breathe. Don't really like make a lot of sound. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't even need to breathe. Yeah, because they don't see. We never see like vision from their point of view. So it's definitely yeah. plus they have no eyes. So yeah, it's definitely smell and sound that they work on. And we're the creepy Halloween. <laughs> Yeah, so it Which doesn't really do anything. <laughs> no, to him. It doesn't. no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Unless he had unless it's a Demogorgon mask. Uh, it's like, oh, oh hey, I'm one of you. No, you, have, you still have to see it. You still have to see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't make any difference okay. whatsoever. So I'll give you Demogorgon can't find him. Yeah. How would he take out Demogorgon though? He's a vampire. He just like sneaks up behind him and goes whoosh. Just rips your head off. Yeah, but Nosferatu yeah. was like really old and crippling. I'm thinking, Which like when you say Nosferatu, Nosferatu it, are we going from I don't like the even... movie. Or are we going from like just like vampire lore in general? Because he's Wait, like a which OG movie? Vampire. Are we are we doing like the classic Nosferatu movie or in the shadows Willem we Defoe? lie? Willem Dafoe. <laughs> well, that one or in the shadows we lie, where they had that Nosferatu that like just barely did anything. Oh, I don't even remember that one. Oh, like it, it's their one of their, <laughs> it's their roommate that's stuck in the basement. He uh, dies no. because we, like somebody forgets the uh, what we do in the shadows. Oh, what we do in the shadows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't remember this. Yeah, and he dies because he was like in there and they let the sun. They forgot. In. They yeah. forgot to bring down the the blinds. The, yeah, that yeah. was that was sad. No, but like, or is it, it like uh, redneck? The comic where like the grandfather is basically. Oh like, yeah. Right and that dude is scary as that shit. That dude is scary as crap. And just rips through everybody and his like super psychic power. And he does, yeah. control everybody, mm. which would make him destroy the Demogorgon. Mm. Okay. The nice thing about vampires is they're a very universal myth, and so you can pull from lots of different sources. It doesn't have to be one version of Nosferatu, whereas the Demogorgon is those kids' monster from their D&D game. Yeah. Oh, man. It's like... Okay, because when you bring up Redneck, it's like he did have psychic powers, and that's the one thing we know can yeah. defeat him. Yeah. But, right, so but, the, pro but the question then shit. is... The guy's no. He would become aware of Nosferatu when he comes out, meaning that that would be when they actually have to go at it. So could his psychic powers stop him before he gets up there? Because he's... And he can fly. That's true. That's but he would have to get down to the ground to take him out. Uh, he wants to attack him up. Look at that. Hmm. I'm still saying the Demogorgon's level of, like, durability, I'm going to say, because we've seen him take abuse. Mm -hmm. I'm saying his level of durability is definitely way higher than Nosferatu's, no matter in what interpretation you're taking it from. Okay. So I would say that that would allow him to basically be able to, A, he'd take out the paranormal investigators and still be fine, because we never even see these guys get tired. We see him taking out an entire classroom full of soldiers, and they're sure just like, oh, I'm here. Just mm -hmm. still going. I'm going to get those kids. Mm -hmm. Uh... So I think his level of durability and stamina would allow him to outlast Nosferatu to the point in which he would be able to take him out. However, this says stalks and kills opponents in their dreams. Does that mean he can attack people physically, or does it have to be? Oh yeah, cool? can't also physically do it. He's okay. not. It's not. It's not. Oh, he's oh, totally Freddy Krueger. Okay, so both. Okay. Yeah, he can do both. Okay, mm. I think that's our final ruling. So, judgment time, Michelle. Um. Gosh, I don't know. <laughs> this was a really good one. This is the best one we've done yeah. yet. Yeah. Two vampires and a creepy Halloween mask. Yes. What is the mask? What is the mask, though? That's on you. I'm picturing the haunted mask from Goosebumps. I mean, or like werewolf mask, like one of the furry ones that you can get at the Halloween store. Like the yeah. furry one, like furry furry. I like, know. No, no. <laughs> when you like, say that, I was I was thinking what he was thinking. Yeah. 
Like the ones with the with the fuzz. I'm trying to not use the word fur now. This is unfortunate. Like curse you, internet. You Demogorgon's dream. It is. He's not being he, talking in his own dream. I know, but it's like uh, Nosferatu doesn't like, dream. <laughs> And he's wearing a creepy Halloween. Yeah, so it's like, so the dream thing is like completely out of the window, right? That's really, yeah, it's really just Demi Gorgon versus mm. Nose Roger, which the creepy Halloween mask doesn't do anything because it has no sight. So really, it's just Nose Roger versus Demi Gorgon. Right. <laughs> it's the best. I'm just imagining a creepy old vampire. He's like, I know how to scare people. <laughs> this is what the kids are into. This is what the kids are into. I don't know, it's cool with those paranormal investigators. They'll never see me coming. It's just like random, cool. random oh, dude face. Like, did you see a vampire around here? Why, no, I'm, I'm John Smith, and I'm. Yes. It's one of those uh, John, like uh, it's Mike Bill Myers. Clinton. It's Michael Myers. Myers. No, yes. like Michael Myers, like Goldfinger, like they did oh, the yeah. Baby Driver. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's Mike Myers. He has a point there. <laughs> I honestly, I have waited my entire life to see someone make that joke, and I was so glad someone finally did. All That's right. Insane. Book time. Hmm. I think maybe the Demogorgon. Okay. <laughs> so you're going for Demogorgon? Yeah. I was going to go with Nosferatu. Okay. <laughs> so you're tiebreaker. the tiebreaker. <laughs> tiebreaker this time. Yours, mine. <laughs> Zombie redneck torture family. Killer clown. Okay. This Honestly, <laughs> the numbers on mine, I think, is what wins. Because neither of them have, like, Paranormal abilities, right? Two yeah. zombie rednecks are afraid of clowns. They're afraid of clowns. They're not afraid of anything. They're, They're rednecks. Afraid. They're no. redneck. The redneck. They went against family. Thor and they won. Yeah. What? They took out Thor. <laughs> yeah, they killed Thor. Fine. <laughs> this this particular is like reference that. Yep. All right, zombie redneck. Fine. Twice we had to go to tiebreakers on this one. Fine. All right. Fine. Bam. All right. And All right. Crap, I will kill your freaking okay. family. Not your family. I don't know anything about your family. Your family's probably really nice. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three. Fuck you. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, this thing was the cheap. We bought this at the dollar up. store for a dollar. Nice. Yeah. It's always good. I hit one at the dollar store and it's like not actually a dollar. Yeah. yeah. They lie. It's like. Um, Ooh, this one's upside down. Bad advertising. Whoa. When did a zombie redneck torture him? Uh, Cabin in the Woods. Yep. Oh! Uh, yeah, that was the thing they had to find torture. Not, yeah. not Thor. Thor. Chris Hemsworth. Gotcha. Okay, I was like, I missed some weird comic at some point. It's just mm-hmm. like the Marvel Zombies thing. Like, I don't know. I got it. I got mine. It's like got a yours. deleted right. scene in yeah. the Avengers right. movie. <laughs> All right. I'll start. That's a great movie, though. Cabin in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods, yeah. I thought you were saying Avengers. Are we doing do this first, right? We're doing this first, all right. The birds, their bites are infectious and turn victims into copies of their biter. The Wolfman. Oh, fuck. And he multiplies when wet. <laughs> what? What? Wet how? <laughs> We're not doing horny teenagers again. All right. We are in. God damn it! Antarctic Research Station. Station. Yes! <laughs> I lost the moment. <laughs> These things always screw me over. All right, over an ancient Indian burial ground. Okay. Okay. Um, do that much. That's in Antarctica. I mean, that's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the birds are just penguins waddling Dude, around. Dude, bridges. <laughs> <Wait, laughs> bridges. They're penguins. I didn't think about yeah. that. Oh. <laughs> I'm back in, baby. I'm back in. <laughs> Don't ever count the birds out. <laughs> okay. So my defense, plainly, is... He's jumping in the ocean. Yeah. No, he's got all that fur. He can't talk to the fur. Well, hmm. Okay. Well, he jumps the snow in the melts on your fur and Yeah, exactly. Oh, fuck. Well, that's if they get outside. We start off inside the research station. So... Fuck, he is faster than penguins. Okay. Yeah. Stubby legs, man. Stubby, Stubby legs. legs. All right. But we do have home core advantage on this one. Yeah. There's penguins all over the Antarctic. I so can also climb the station. No, here's the thing. The penguins are outside. They're completely surrounded the station. It's like a horde of penguins. <laughs> so you touch the ground and they bite you and you turn into a penguin. <laughs> right? We really should. 
we really shouldn't be doing this one on one. We really should just go ahead and have it be like. Yeah. Seven. It's way oh, more fun God. this way. <laughs> okay. All right. So the penguins are surrounding the Antarctic Research Base with the Wolfman trapped inside. <laughs> I'll give you, he's got the advantage because night lasts forever up there in the Antarctic. So we Down don't have to worry about that. Down there in the Antarctic, but whatever. My bad. <laughs> Wait, does it? Is the same rules apply as yeah, the... Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, okay, yeah, pretty okay. much. Same thing. All right. Uh, so basically, the birds can't outlast him. But at the start, they're definitely outnumbered. But if he gets outside, as soon as he touches that snow... It doesn't well, matter. then again, it's a research lab. They have so water. they have water. They do. They have water in there. <laughs> He's so, just going to be like, so, hey, showers. <laughs> So he comes out. <laughs> he comes, like, it's just gonna be like, oh! oh time's up, that. everybody! That. Honestly, I lost that one. I know I did. I, <laughs> an army penguins can't find an army <laughs> <laughs> Hello? I, but what if... Alright, you're gone. What if, right, so like the, the, the wolfmen keep multiplying in the snow, right, but the penguins keep biting him, and so there's just more penguins, and then more wolves, and then more penguins, and then more wolves, and then it's more like penguins, and then more penguins, and then more wolves, I have this feeling. And then they hit the ocean, and it's just I like, have, <laughs> I have this feeling that nobody lost it. The real person that lost this, uh, this fight yeah, sorry, this is humanity, right <laughs> because... We're just gonna overrun the world at this oh, yeah, point. Yeah, this is it's the apocalypse like, scenario. Yeah, this is yeah. the apocalypse scenario. Yeah. <laughs> right. The penguins keep biting, and the wolves we'll be keep right back. Flying, and it'll be ridiculous. And we are back for another game. And if you'll notice, there is a no, new get. Blah, blah, blah. Take two. We are back <laughs> <laughs> with another game. That didn't just happen. Uh, and if you'll notice, we have another guest here. I was about to say, you'll remember him from the last time we did this, and I was like, oh right, I couldn't upload any of those episodes. Right. <laughs> but yes, we have now brought in the horror ringer, Vic. This is the guy uh, who horror is his expertise. Tom, stop. <laughs> you guys... Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> you guys know that on my channel, like I always talk about being a big horror junkie. You watch everything. I tend to watch... Yes. I try to, I try to watch everything. I do try to watch everything. Yeah, like you watch the most obscure stuff. So for anybody out there, I'm going to go ahead and do this. We're doing a Q&A at the end of uh, Thorgy Week, uh, in which I am asked for questions from you guys. And I was looking through the questions, and one person asked, what are five horror films that you would recommend to someone who doesn't like horror films? Mm. You are a way better person to answer. I'm going to give my answer in the Q&A video. Sure. But I want to get yours on this. You got it, yeah. I can think of, a, I can think of five. So okay. A solid five, yeah, definitely. Solid sure. five? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can think of five right now, absolutely. All right, yeah, what do you got? Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm not bringing uh, you back for the Q and A. No. Okay. I'll wrap that. Uh, uh, Among the Living from okay. uh, Julian Moray and uh, Alexandre Bustillo. It's a French horror film that's a mixture of uh, Stand by Me, Goonies, and Texas Chainsaw. Uh, you were just telling me about like, this like the other day. Type thing. Um, it is insane. It's crazy. Uh, it, these kids probably won't make it out alive. Um, and it, it's it's all more scary because they're like in middle school. It's mm -hmm. like on the last day of school They witness something that they probably shouldn't have seen and it's just like a night of terror So that's an, one re that's really good uh, Black Coat's Daughter from Osgood Perkins is another really good one Okay, even mentioning kind of like the plot really just spoils the fun of it I will say that it's a kind of a slow burn of a horror film that comes together within like the la the, the final act but when it does your mind will be blown. It's, it is so effective in the imagery, the, the, the writing, just the, the style that he's displaying for a first film. It's amazing. Also, he's the son of uh, Anthony Perkins. Okay. Or uh, Norman Bates for Young and the Sheep. Yeah. Um, so that's two. Uh, the Void, which is on Netflix. It's this awesome like blend of uh, uh, John Carpenter. It's basically like an ode to John Carpenter. Okay. It all takes place in the hospital with like a cult that's coming in. If you guys are uh, fans of like uh, Lovecraftian type themes, mm. there's a lot of that going on, and it's filled with like special effects. Okay. Like like true in camera effects, not hardly any CGI at all. Like this is made on a low budget. It is oh, nice. so good. Uh, that's three. The Mind's Eye. It's a uh, it's a uh, pretty much be friends of like uh, the Fury from Diane De Palma or Scanners from David Cronenberg. It's that kind of type of film deals with uh, people with telekinetic ab abilities, and it's one person who uh, it was just on the run from like the hospital that's chasing him and the doctor that wants to harness his power. And again, it's all done very low budget, very practical effects, and it's oh man, the red just flows all over the place. It's fantastic. 
Uh, that was four. four. That was four. Okay. And for number five, I'll go with. Oh man, there was one I really liked. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, what? I I'm blanking on. Oh, uh, easy. Get out. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah we yeah. just watched yeah. that for the first time like a couple like a week ago. It is by. It was probably the Holy best crap. movie I saw this year. I it's never in thought, my top two. Yeah. I did not think that Jordan Peele could pull off something like that. Even though I was intrigued when I first heard he was doing a horror film. So when I I when I went to go see it, I just ah this I, it's hilarious. It's terrifying. It's worth it for like the final act where he, it's just ah, oh, it just all comes together. And there's so many homages to like Argento. Uh, um. It's I mentioned this in our little review that we did of it. It was shocking to me when I watched this film because the first thing that I noticed is this doesn't feel like a modern horror film. Oh, because it's shot well. It's because <laughs> yes. someone tried to shoot a good film. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You could just feel like the tension just builds and builds and builds and builds. Like the audience, as the audience, you know something's wrong. You know that something's not right. And you're feeling for this character. And you're just seeing this oh, terrible, terrible descent. Uh, it's ultimately when he breaks. And I gotta say, up until like the, the movie, I honestly thought that the 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 uh, uh, his girlfriend. Yeah, yeah that no, was, that no, was no, we're not gonna no, know. Sorry. Yeah, we still know what you're saying. What what's great about it now is like the Blu-ray's out and there's two endings to it. Yes, yes. yes. I like the one they put in the movie way better. Oh yeah, no, but that, I get the point of the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the ending, the the, the one on DVD is way way darker, but uh, the ending that's in the theatric cut. Ah, left with a smile on my face. Yeah. So those are definitely five movies that you guys do not, if anyone doesn't watch horror, check them out. They are absolutely worth it. Absolutely, yes. Okay. All right. So we've got half an hour before you have to leave. So what we are going to do, we are now going to kind of go rapid fire. Then if you guys still want to stick around and do another round, we'll do that afterwards. So, okay, I'm going to go to stopwatch. Everybody's going to get five minutes per each match on this one. Okay. So we're going to start on this side, have the two, actually, you guys just got here. You All start, right. the two of you. So okay. each of you draw three of each card. Uh, you pick one fighter and one situation that you want, or one ability, I should say. One add-on. Yes, an add-on, there you go. Oh, two of any. That you think is a, willing, a winning combo. Yeah. And could take out another monster thing. What? I won't make a super cut of everybody's reactions, it just really <laughs> So it's just one and one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And the ones you don't use, just put over here. Maybe <laughs> in your face. It's just this one card that I'm like, what? Um, I'm gonna let's stick a chance on it. Like it. All right, baby. Uh, you got the final girl. Okay. okay. Um, where's that from? It's the it's it's, it's a term for the girl who survived. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Oh, possessed okay. by a demonic. Uh, oh, you're possessed by a demonic. Pinhead. Oh, the oh, final snap. girl possessed by Pinhead. Okay. Oh. Okay. Nick? That's very funny because I picked The Exorcist. Come <laughs> 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 oh. on. Little uh, Max von Sydow for you. I know. And uh, stalks and kills their opponents in their dreams. Oh, we just did that one a second ago. That's not bad. Okay, yes. now the twist. The location you're in is a wax museum. Oh, we just we that literally was the one we did right before this. So, and uh, God damn it! Did you shuffle these? I don't think so. Abandoned shopping mall. Now we're in new stuff. Okay. Abandoned okay. shopping mall, and the ground is slick with blood and gore. No, no, no. That's, we did that one we too. Did that yeah. One too. Fighters are bound and gagged. Oh! Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you had the exact same thought that I just had. <laughs> That's kind of Pinhead's MO. Yeah. yeah! That is, yeah, that is his kind of MO. So, wouldn't he. I feel like it, it was like this whole like round was just like, like, haha! And this is like, haha! And now that we have this situation, I'm back to haha again! <laughs> it's just a um, it's just a game of counters and magic together. Yeah, um, well, I mean, it's Pinhead. Like, Pinhead has, like, these psychic powers, and I don't think he has to say anything to activate it. So, if I'm bound and gagged, I still have full, like, 
use of the powers. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like he's uh, him being bound and gagged is like limited because. Uh, granted, I just watched like these two movies, like the first two, like very recently, so he's fresh in my mind. Uh, uh, I, well, we're talking about the Exorcist here, who, if you're possessed by, whose whole point of in the movie is to come in and save Regan, and unfortunately gets thrown out of a window at the end. But I mean, if he stalks and is killing the opponent in the dreams, I mean that power ascends. I mean, going to Pinhead, who already can be broken down by seeing like the side of his former self. Mm. I forgot about mm. that. I forgot that rule. But then again, you have to, like, that only works in the and dreams. He, and he could exercise Pinhead from inside well, the if Well, if, if, he's, well, if they're if that, both that's can, totally, if that's they're the question. If they're, if they're bound and gagged, yeah. what's to say, and he already, in their dreams, he just has to go to sleep and then, you know, does his whole, uh, mind does Pinhead sleep? Speed to Santi and, and, you know. Does Pinhead sleep? Because, like, the final girl, mm. I don't know... Like, if you're possessed, I don't think that you, you're sleeping or Well, dreaming. no, it's not Pin who's bound and gagged. It's the final girl who's bound and gagged. Yeah. So once that we're, we're in the dream, once we're in the dreams, once we're sleeping, it's a whole new different set of rules. If you're it, it, But if you're possessed by a demonic uh, pinhead, still, I mean, it, would you think in the dreams he wants to be bound and gagged? Even though that, that's his whole MO, the whole mm. SMN, 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 SNM. Yeah, it's like ma ma well, that, type that's thing. true. But does she sleep if she's possessed? Does she dream if she's possessed? That's well, she's that's definitely dream if she's possessed yeah. and she falls asleep. She's definitely dreaming. Yeah, but does she sleep? Does she well, sleep? there are a lot of possessions that the victims actually also, see if what's going on. If we're mm -hmm. if we're in a and in a oh, shopping snap. shopping I thought, oh, yeah, we're in a abandoned shopping mall. No, I thought we were in a. I thought the floor was covered in blood. Yeah, that no, was that was I was gonna say, you know, she just slips and knocks her head off. That's how she falls asleep. That's true, that would be more to your advantage. That could have worked to my advantage. Yep, <laughs> yep. But yeah, I mean, she's possessed. So I would say, you know, she she's aware of what's going on, but she has no control. Mm -hmm. I would like to think that uh, my, my father, Marin, would be able to, uh, you know, even bound and gad could just control his thoughts. If he's willing to have, if he has the powers to go into someone's dreams, a la Freddy, I mean, I think he stands a chance. All right, five minutes is up. Oh, oh, oh yeah, we're gonna. Oh, time. Gonna... All right, and then there can't be tiebreakers this time, so. All right, um, I feel like I have to go with the Exorcist. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> Thank you. All right, uh, crud. The bound and gag is what's really giving it to Pinhead on this one. Yeah, it's but, like because that's the thing. He has to be able to like recite stuff, and he's gagged. That's the problem. Bam! So I got, I gotta give it to Pinhead, or the, fi the final Pinhead. <laughs> the final <laughs> Pinhead. Yeah. Pinhead. Wait, I was wondering, like, where are they bound and gagged in a shopping mall? Because, like, if they're like in a the hardware se store, <laughs> or, or what? I mean, sex I, shop. Yeah, yeah. I feel like. What that's... mall are you going to? <laughs> it says Spencer's. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Does the exorcist also have the power of, like hypnosis or something like that? Like like mesmerizing sort of thing? Like could could the exorcist, my exorcist my... Okay, could the can the exorcist put the girl to sleep? Theoretically, if, yes. Because if you can, then that's whole new ball game and then it's like it's the exorcist versus a demon. Yeah. And the exorcist exercises the demon and then it's just him versus the final girl and he would win. So So I'm gonna say the exorcist. Yes. Exorcist yeah. the demon. This house is clear. <laughs> nice. Alright, uh, we're doing this differently than the way that we did last time we played where the Defender keeps going along. Now, we're just gonna keep moving along to, now it's you versus Anna. So, oh, yeah. I hope you pick three new cards. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Anna's reactions, because this is, this is funny in itself. They're the best. I have like three of the same cards that we've had previously. Uh, uh okay, wanna, characters or? I'm gonna shuffle oh, again. Characters and All right, go ahead, yeah. And things. Sorry. Damn, that is a healthy shuffle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More of the same boats. Uh, some that are, uh, different. Uh, all set? <laughs> 
Ready here? Ready here? You ready? Uh, oh, yeah, we know. All right, Anna, so Anna, Anna, Anna takes her time. Anna, take her time. I'm yeah, fine. you don't want to give her the advantage. Everything's good. Okay. All right, Vic. <laughs> okay, so chance. I have the thing that multiplies when wet. Ooh. Okay. okay. I have the Antichrist armed with a hacksaw. <laughs> <laughs> and your location, Silent Hill, which we have used before, but I don't care. I'm keeping it out like that one. Silent Hill and. Area is covered in bear traps. <laughs> okay, so well, we know if the Antichrist gets caught in a bear trap, you can just saw his own up leg off. Very true. Can um, the Antichrist fly? I feel like the Antichrist can fly. Well, I guess right? it's, it's like thing. how you picture it's it. It's like different versions of people. Yeah, yeah. like people are we talking like the, the Omen kid? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can't, can't fly but we're talking shit. like goat head, like big wings. It's like okay, well, I'm yeah. Yeah, it's like, he's like the anti-angel, right? So, so he has like bat wings and shit? Alright, so, I don't know. the thing, alien species spreads like crazy, it's a virus. Anything it touches, it, you know, it, it, it takes and over. And it multiplies when it's wet, and, Exactly, and if we're following gremlin rules here, it multiplies when wet, this thing's going to the be thing already everywhere. multiplies on its own. Yeah, yeah. exactly, this is he's just, this is like a, a, a times four, you know, bonus. Uh, and then, but, I mean, on the other hand, you have, you know, I have a hacksaw. Here's, here's my question. Well, I was going to say, you have, you know, the Antichrist. Is it rainy in Silent Hill, though? Here's my question. Uh -huh. Silent Hill is always covered in fog. Yeah. How wet do they need to get? Because mm -hmm. uh, you get wet walking through fog, but how wet? How wet? Well, yeah. I, you know, so the, you the, feel the, the condensation on your face. Yeah. The water itself, I wouldn't be, think it was so much as a factor as it could already multiply on its own. And if we're walking in Silent Hill and there's any people there, any of those characters yeah. already in, that are already in, uh, you know, in the town, he what? can totally just you know touch, and all of a sudden you're dealing with like those horrible things you see in the movie. Yeah. Uh, would he be? Would they be walking around if there were there was bear traps everywhere? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the like thing. Be careful. The yeah. thing, if his leg gets chopped off, can he like repair it? Basically. True. Yeah. Because I mean, the thing basically can like split into giant monsters and stuff. Yeah. The thing also, that, like when he gets caught in a bear trap, it bleeds. Does blood count as getting wet? Not your own, because Not if your own. own blood got you wet, then basically. <laughs> Mogwais would just be constantly. Yeah, yeah I guess by me like touching the skin, like. No, because it touches the skin on the inside. Yeah, yeah. that's true. All right, for so sake like, of argument, we'll say yeah, it. Yeah. Let yeah. me mention the yeah. thing doesn't even really have blood on the inside. Like, we've seen it split no. wide open. It's right. Just, yeah. Exactly. It's just meat in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, but then the, the Antichrist in Silent Hill, like. It does feel like he has home for advantage there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. he's got, like, I mean, the cultists probably think that he's, like, the second coming. Yeah. So he, I can get the people on my side. They can vent, like, fend off the thing for a bit, and then I can probably get. I mean, we're coming back to Pinhead, and I can get Pinhead on my side. You like, mean Pyramid hey. Head? No, sorry, yes. The other guy with the. Pyramid Head, yes. Yeah, Pyramid Head. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah, you. It's okay. It's okay. Pyramid Head. I, I just like to point out before we started playing bros. this. You said you said to us off camera. I'm probably gonna be at a disadvantage because I don't watch a lot of horror films. I did watch Silent Hill though. That was the one horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to you, all that's true. Yeah, and then I would save the really hot cop lady, and she would not get torn apart because that was horrible. I hated that movie so much. That was terrible. As the Antichrist, I would save the really attractive cop lady. Um, well, then you wouldn't be Antichrist. You'd be Christ-like. <laughs> well, depending on what she's got to do with that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 And then you just walk, but then you're walking around know. with a with a hacksaw. It's just like that's just. I feel like that's overkill. Yeah. It's it's the effect. It's like yeah. why do you have the hacksaw? Why? Yeah. Why does why why it's does you know the bringer? It's a mystery. The, the <laughs> Even he doesn't know why. It's intimidating. He doesn't need. Why yeah. does the antichrist need a hacksaw? What is he gonna do with the hacksaw? It's intimidating. But the thing is, an alien. So maybe he doesn't care. Maybe he doesn't know what the hacksaw is. And he thinks is that some ancient like alien artifact? He's afraid of the hacksaw. In Silent Hill, maybe it is an ancient <laughs> alien. <laughs> Who knows? Anything can happen in Silent hacksaw. Hill. It's the multiplication though that's getting me on the thing over there. Because the thing can also possess people, so what I'm thinking is the thing possess possessing pyramid heads. Not to mention, like it, a lot of times, you don't and know if people. you are the thing. Yeah, you don't know when it happens. Well, the Antichrist you know. also possesses other people. That's true. Me, but oh, he possesses the Antichrist. What if it possesses that? Because the thing, the Antichrist possesses you through yeah. your soul. Thing possesses you through your physical form. Gross. So technically, you could both possess the same person at the same time. <laughs> 
and yeah. they just start being the crap out of themselves. Just I think so. <laughs> I think so. Stop thinking so. Well, then again, that's I... what the saw is for. You just like throw it at the um, at the <laughs> <laughs> here. <laughs> Have fun. Just do it. Just, <laughs> just end it already. <laughs> No, stop fighting. Clink. <laughs> no, go for it. Just <laughs> forgot what movie that was. It's like, I can't no, remember it's either. Knife. I can't remember either. But I'm <laughs> I want to say it was South Park almost, but okay. Uh, we were closing down the five minute mark. Anybody have any final arguments? Um, I don't know, man. I, I would just, I would go with the thing. It's just, it's one of those things that it knows how to survive, mm-hmm. even in any kind of situation, even in uh, in the original. You just you know it's probably still alive. And then just the simple <clears> fact with multiplies and wet, that's just terrifying. I was, I was just thinking that the Antichrist could just like summon the powers of hell through Silent Hill, which is like extra helly to begin with, and just be like, Bush! and like just fire. Mm. All right. With a hacksaw. <laughs> Five minutes on the dot. Okay. Uh, Wait, I don't get to say. <laughs> no, we're voting now. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, man. I'm going to say, because the thing that gets me is that the thing has no soul, so the Antichrist can't really possess it that way. Mm-hmm. But I feel like the Antichrist is like magical, so the thing can't possess it either. So it basically would be just like who can get whose minions to fight each other the most. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like in Silent Hill, there's a lot of just weird, creepy monsters walking around that just don't have souls to begin with. So. I think the thing could get them on side, so I'm gonna go with the thing. Plus, the multiplies when wet, I think, like, it's got double multiplication going for it now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think, think that helps. helps. Is the thing like the demon triple? It just like multiplies? I think it would. You can think of it like that. Yeah. Okay, cool. It truly has no form, Yeah. honestly. All right, it, your vote? Yeah, I, th- I think I have to go with a thing too. Like, the Antichrist would uh, possess your soul, but I don't think any of the monsters in Silent Hill have souls. Yeah, so. that's the one that was getting me. The cultists do, and could get hell power from that. Yeah. But then, like, I think just the number of, like, guys the thing could throw at him. I would have just voted for the bear traps. The bear traps? <laughs> I keep forgetting those. those yeah! Are the I mean, like, we traps. already know who won, because I yeah. could just vote for the Antichrist and still. But. I really, like, we're forgetting about the bear traps. Yeah, right, that's guys. true. Yeah. yeah, I think Silent Hill would win. Just yeah. Silent Hill itself, the town. Itself, like, the town. everyone would just be trapped traps. in bear traps, and they're just going to be stuck there. Just like, not yeah. really. But, I have a hacksaw. The, <laughs> but the thing is, that's the, that also makes me go with the thing, because the thing is like the car. It squishes out of it, just, yeah. Wah, squishes yeah. out of it, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's meanwhile, terrifying. like, the uh, Antichrist had to, like, cut off his own limbs and arms just well, to get Well, even if the, the Antichrist can heal back, the people that the Antichrist possess can't regenerate themselves. Yeah, the people that the stuff. thing regenerate and possesses can regenerate. And you yeah. only have one hacksaw. That's... <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah, okay. <laughs> A hacksaw. A, A hacksaw. hacksaw. A. It's, really, it's a really good hacksaw. I just love that you said we're right. forgetting about the bear trap like it was a political campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Like, guys, guys, the bear guys I understand it's that we need to bears. worry about our health care, but you're all forgetting the massive number of bear traps that are in <laughs> our city. <laughs> we wouldn't need bear health care if we didn't have all these bear <laughs> traps. <laughs> all right, which crap, which power is which? Uh, uh, good, used. Okay. Get all right, now me versus Anna. One, <laughs> two, three. Hacksaws. Hacksaws for Sorry, should have taken from the other pile. I'm blocking. Yep, yep. Obstruction of justice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now that the round's already over, Anna could have won. Yeah. But because you should have just st- said like some ring fire from the beginning. Just Hellfire from the because beginning. Because I, like, I did not want to yeah. like give that out there because yeah. I was like. Plus, Silent Hill is built over a never-ending coal mine. Yeah. The thing is, oh, he that's is the true. one is like the the thing that just, ah, like yeah. break, like could destroy. It. Yeah. Yeah. That's ain't that a bitch when you like know like how your opponent can defeat you? Like, yeah. I have this card, I would win. Yeah. Uh, You're absolutely right. I wish I could help you. Sure. Uh, Got something good? <laughs> just so dumb. I love it. <laughs> I love how, how Anna plays this game. Yeah, she's, she's like, the best. She's like, let me pick the dumbest 
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna giggle my way. <laughs> she just she just like, let me fun. get the dumbest like I like I don't care yeah, about winning at this point. I've yeah. seen most of the movies. So yeah. I'm just like this just sounds ridiculous. She had an Osorado uh, with like a Halloween, Halloween mask. mask. What? Yeah. <laughs> he was carrying Halloween masks. None of mine are really good. <laughs> I, 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 I think Osorado is scary. Against the oh, against yeah. the Devil Gorgon. Yeah. Uh, well, who can possess people in their dreams or yeah. haunted people in their dreams? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then the, there was also the how, the West Museum was full of uh, paranormal investigators. Yep. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. That's Which that one was like that doesn't me. matter. The Demogorgon would rip through all of them in five seconds, yeah. and the Demogorgon doesn't get tired. So. Yeah. All right. I got mine. First. All right. So we got a killer marionette. Oh boy. <laughs> this is the funny part. Straight who is calling the opponent from inside? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I forgot there wasn't a wall here and I almost like Oh that no! Uh, <laughs> Anna knows how to play this, she just wants to have fun. Uh, she, I got know, a, she knows how to play yeah. this. <laughs> I got a cult of killer druids oh, and it's no. actually a ghost who can only be killed when their physical remains are destroyed. So, and our location is, go back to that. <laughs> the house. <laughs> Transylvanian Castle. Oh, well, oh. it's it's Castles kind of don't have phones. Yeah. All fires are being hunted by Van Helsing. Army of the Undead. Oh, oh, oh wait, no. it, wait, what? That's the use. That's yeah. Reanimator. Whoa! Harper West, nice. I don't know what that is. What is that? It's a HP Lovecraft story. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> What are we talking about? I didn't know what the reanimator was. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, start. All right. Uh, well, the cult of killer druids. Druids are people who worship the earth, so they would probably protect their remains very well. That means that it's probably like inside a tree somewhere that's being haunted, so that it's got to be forest. like a tree spirit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's in the forest outside uh, the Transylvanian castle. Uh, the reanimator. He can take out some of the druids, but I mean, there's a cult. It's a group of people. Um, Wait, this is, yeah. Yeah, they're being hunted by. by yeah, like, let's put this over put here. Put yeah, so. yeah. yeah. All right. So, I feel like, again, I got I got numbers on my hand. Plus, Marionette, isn't that just a puppet? It's made of wood. It's basically yes. Yeah, Pretty yes. much like Chucky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. druids like speak string. wood. It's with strings, though. Yeah. It's a, it's a string puppet. Like exactly. Pinocchio. It's being, yes. It's being, yeah. it's being, Pinocchio. being manipulated by unknown sources, but it's calling you. Oh my god, that's how they ended up in the Transylvanian castle! <laughs> it's a ruse! It's a cruel ruse! Yes, I, I summoned you to the castle. From Hello, the is this the cult of killer druids? You have just won a fabulous prize, but you have to come to this castle to pick it up. And I'm calling you for- and, oh, yeah, and then you're super confused when you get there, because you're like, what, there's nobody here, and then you get another phone call, but it's coming from inside, inside the house. house. And you look around, it's like, there's no one here except for this puppet. <laughs> it's just really confusing. Yeah, see if you want to play a game, it's wonderful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my and then god. It's just, it's just really confusing because it's coming from inside the house. <laughs> I don't know, I think. Like, like, <laughs> that's all I got. Like, the thing this is, is, like, this castle, it's not just the house of the castle, it's huge, so they're probably gonna be. They're gonna have to look for a while. I'll yeah, give you that. it's like it could be like in any. Of those. However, if you go from uh, from Rocky Horror Picture Show logic, castles don't have phones, asshole. Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah. I don't know how this is working. I guess I'm just. See, like, that's the creepy part because they're getting a phone call from inside the house. No, it doesn't and say a phone. It just says call. a call. It's just yeah, like, it's call. Yo, um, yeah, hey. Can we call hey, it like buddy. like without a phone? It could be just saying what? just like <laughs> talking out loud. Just pigeons just arriving with like little notes. <laughs> Or it's a crystal ball. He's like calling to a crystal ball or something like or that. Or could be that. <laughs> now, the question is, if there is a calling, is the cult of druids, are they going to split up? Ooh, because then they could stab them in the end. No, because they're, they're a cult. They would stick together, I'd say. Okay. Yeah. Cult okay. mentality. No, no, yeah, yeah. Cult mentality is yeah. very, very strong. They stick yeah. together. Strength, exactly. Strength, yeah. Strength, Heaven's Gate, all that stuff. So yeah. that's a that's, um, disadvantage for the marionette. Yeah. Because yeah. you can't pick them off one by one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, you would in like a. Do marionette? Do the, the the strings like? Can they like stretch? Could I like be like on the ceiling and then like bungee down like? And then step them? and then go back up. <laughs> Are you no. planning to talk? No, but, 
No, it says it's actually a ghost. Yes, 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 yes. They're actually oh. ghosts and can only be killed oh. when their physical remains are destroyed. So right. could you yeah. find their physical oh, remains? Right, or the reanimator. I'm luring them into it's, the house and I go outside whole, and like his whole like, MO tiny. is reanimating the dead. Oh, yeah. you're right. He would bring them back. He negates my thing. The, so the reanimator and the marionette are like in cahoots to get rid of this cult of like uh, ghosts. Ghost yeah, he does. Did so the, the marionette. Re reanimator animate the marionette? No, because the marionette's made of like wood or plastic. He or oh, animates just, uh, living, just, living, okay, living flesh. Yeah. yeah. Right, you just said that. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay. So I'm he's definitely. He can't really do anything against yours, but no. he's definitely in disadvantage of mine. So he can bring my guys back to life. I look at we're not even like trying to figure out who wins. We're trying to figure out among ourselves like who wins. Like yeah. this really should just be group speak. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh we're closing in. So I'm gonna make final argument on my behalf. Uh Cult of Killer Druids, the fact that they have magic based around trees and plants. It's a marionette, it's made of wood. I figure like they would have to just be able to go just grow into like a tree, you know, it's like, I can't move, I'm planted to the ground. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. mm. Or would it still be able to move? Like now it's just a haunted tree? And now it's just a haunted creepy tree who's still attached to strings for some reason and can bungee you from the ceiling and stab you. No, it's <laughs> no, no, like what if the tree is like and rooted? Static. What if the tree is like rooted into the into the ground, but its uh, branches can like c crawl and Ooh, take over it, the like, castle? Drops down little like like weird vines, twig, yeah. twig marionettes are just like I was made by vines. It makes multiple <laughs> marionettes. <now. laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they're all and they're all being controlled by like weird like lichen strings from the tree, and they're like, still vines. calling you. But like lots of squeaky little voices now, so it's just like, come inside! I'm just like, eyes. I'm just like imagining okay. like an evil apple tree and like the uh, apples are the marionettes. The end of evil yeah, too. Yeah, like land. Yeah. And then, like, <laughs> yeah. Alright, voting time. Mm. Alright, uh, start on the left as always and go around. Oh gosh. <laughs> From inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like the... Hmm, the thing is... The killer druids would like have power over trees and stuff, but the reanimator could get to them. So I'm wondering what's going to happen first. Like, do the druids get to the uh, marionette, or does the reanimator get to the druids first before they can mm. get to the marionette? Like. Hey, well, let's go over to these guys. What do you think? Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. It's just, <laughs> I'm voting the cult of uh, undead oh, druids. druids? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's undead druids, man. It's undead druids. Uh, I'm going to go with the druids as well. Okay. Oh. Any any film I've seen that has those, those killer druids, they always win in the end. Yeah. Well, even if I did say uh, yeah. Marinette, I'm You're allowed to abstain on this one if you yeah. can. Yeah. But he's calling <laughs> from inside the house. <laughs> I don't think that's a factor anymore. <laughs> I think that's not gonna help. That's just your tagline now. <laughs> just, we're gonna we're gonna put that on shirts and make millions. <laughs> From it, oh. The title one? card. The title card for this episode is just going to be her just. <laughs> From inside the house. With a phone. With with a phone. phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last match, me versus okay. you. Okay. No. You have to leave now. I'm sorry. Okay. okay uh, well. All right. Well, in that case. We will get to you in the next game because yeah. the big problem is to stick around and play at least Yeah, I'll play game. another game, yeah, absolutely. All right. So, yeah, Anna, easy. it was great getting to have you. Yes. Uh, we will okay. wrap up this episode right now. Uh, Fabian, give your plug so I make sure. Uh, I, my name's Fabian, um, comic creator. Some books that are coming out, This Nightmare Kills Fascists, um, that's going to come out soon. My parent, parent, Planned Parenthood. Um, uh, anthology is coming out soon as well. Um, also, if you check out Destiny NY um, Volume 2, I'm going to have some uh, pages that I do for that. Um, yeah, you can follow me on Rockets and Pens on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And you can find your first book uh, from Black Mask from on Black Comixology. Mask, yeah, Comixology. You can also order it at <laughs> <laughs> online. Um, apparently, we have a lot of stuff there. Um, Anyway, um, yeah, you can. What's the name of the book? Uh, it's J Street Protection Services. There you go. <laughs> yeah. 
So you're saying boring. everything except the name of the book. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, and we'll get to any other. Do you have anything you want to plug? Um, Blade Runner 2049 is a really great movie. I recommend that everyone You just give a free promotion now. Completely unrelated, but it's really good. It. It's well, really it's good. I know. I've been, watching, I've, been watching, I've been watching horror movies every single day this month, so I haven't had time to see Boo Oh, God. I understand. Oh, I've seen Boo totally 2 Medea's of Halloween, but uh, I haven't seen Blade Runner. Uh, <laughs> I sit through some shit. Okay. Well, thank you guys, and we will be back later with another one of these. Bye. Bye.